Hello and welcome to today's edition of City News Daily on City TV. My name is Zoe Abubedu. Coming up, NDC executives in the Nadoli Kali constituency of the Upper West Region back calls for their member of parliament to be the next flag bearer of the party. The details shortly. Let's move straight into our first story, where even before the National Democratic Congress comes to terms with this 2016 electoral defeat, posters of the MP for Nadoli Kalio, Alban Sumana Kensford Babin, has popped up to be the next flag bearer for the election 2020 on the ticket of the party. Now, the posters, which are circulating on social media, have a white background with a portrait of Alban Bagbin. The posters, which also described the second deputy speaker of parliament as the best choice for the president in 2020, also has the inscription Bagbin 2020 with a proposed motto, tried, tested, and committed beneath it. Party executives of the Nadoli Kalioi constituency in the Upper West Region, who spoke to City News Daily, say they are backing calls for their MP to be the next flag bearer of the opposition National Democratic Congress. Away from that story and the Civil and Local Government Staff Association of Ghana, CLOCSAC, has disputed President Ekufado's comments that the Ghanaian workforce has a poor attitude towards work. Now, the president yesterday during the May Day celebration lamented over the practice why some public sector workers, after arriving at work, waste time praying and engaging in other unproductive activities, and some even leave the office ahead of the official closing time. Now, he charged the leadership of the various unions to lead a campaign to change that attitude. But the executive secretary for CLOCKSAG, Dr. Isaac Bampo, says he does not entirely agree with the president. Let's focus on illegal mining now. And it appears that the southern part or the southern sector of this country um, has been more of the center of discussion in our fight against Galamse at the detriment of the northern sector. Now, discussions on the illegal mining activities have largely focused on the western, the central, the eastern, and even the Bunuahafu regions. But as our correspondent Fred Awuni observed, the menace of Galamse is equally prevalent in the Upper East region. His visit to some Galamse sites in Bolga, Sirigu, and Bani in the Talensi districts revealed even though they are not mining in the water bodies yet, they have invaded most farmlands in the area, destroying crops and the environment. So our final story for today, let's take you to the Kwame Nkrumah Circle, where portions of that interchange have developed deep and deadly potholes. Now, five months after the 74 million euro project was commissioned, City News' Caleb Kuda reports that what started as a small pothole has now become a pond in front of the NS chemist annex close to the new town overhead. The situation, which worsens by the day, delays the flow of traffic and is destroying vehicle parts. Caleb Kuda also reports that a water pipe that burst under the road three months ago keeps eroding the road. And that will be it for today on City News Daily on City TV. My name is Zoe Abubeidu. Thanks for your time.